Ramiro, hi Ramiro. Hi teacher. Como ya dejó de llover. <laughs> no, se, le, se le ordena, se, se le ordena su presión de clase. Ah, sí, igual que Don Elmer. <laughs> no, mucha pegazón con Elmer, por eso. Very good. No, nice to see you, Ramiro. Very good. Roberto, hi. Yeah. And Walter, very good. Elmercito, how are you? Hi. Hi teacher. ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Tiene gripe? Yo, no. Ah. No, ya tengo bastante de tener gripe, teacher. Por eso no goodness. asistí a clase. Ah, oígalo. That's not true, Elmer. <laughs> All right, very good. It is true. All right, guys, uh, today is the last class of this week. All right, so we're going to begin section two. Uh, we're talking about gerunds and infinitives for uses and purposes, okay? So that's what we're going to be studying tonight. So are we ready? Okay. Yes, yeah, are we ready? ready? Yeah? Yes, yeah. Excellent, always ready, yes, right? Teacher. Very good, okay. Always ready. Always ready, I know, I know. All right, let's see. Um, we. This is what I have for you here. Let me get it, it's here, okay. So we have, oh, I have this. Can you see it? Yes. yes. All right, very good. So gerunds and infinitives, okay? Now, let's see, Walter. Uh, what is, tell me, what is a gerund for you? What is a gerund? What do you understand with that? What is a gerund? Mm -hmm. What is a gerund? I don't have an idea. To ah, okay, that's right okay. Now. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Ramiro, what about you? What is a gerund for you? What do you remember a, a gerund is? Mm, I think, teacher, I remember is the the very in the original form. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, Normita, what about um, infinitives? What, is, what do you remember about infinitive? I, I don't remember, teacher. Okay, okay, that's okay, that's good. Okay, me, me, me gusta que no se acuerden. <laughs> so we can start again. No, it's true, it's true, all right, very good, okay. So we have gerunds and we have infinitives, okay? When we talk about gerunds, is the ing of the verb, okay? Like if I say swimming, running, cooking, speaking, okay? And the infinitive is when I say to swim, to cook, to run, to speak, okay? That's the, my infinitive, okay? Now, the gerund is similar to the present continuous, but it's not the same, okay? It is not the same. It's similar, which is with ing, but the meaning is different, and the use is different. Anita también no había venido a clase. No, teacher, because is that I can uh, and no podía entrar. Por la lluvia, Anita. Ah, no, no sé, me rechazaba. ¿De verdad, Anita? Sí. Yo, yo pensé estaba... que, se, que, que también acató la orden, igual que Ramiro y Elmer, sí. como el presidente dijo, no sí. clases. Anita sí, dijo, no sí, clases. No, <risa> no, no, teacher. No clases. No sí, clases. Sancionar, iba, iba a sancionar inglés corporativo. <risa> <laughs> oh my goodness all right no pues no we were active okay so that's okay anita welcome back it's it's nice okay, to see you okay very good so we're going to talk about this we have oops let's see um alguien que me lea ahí porfa adriana okay. 
In English, but um, he, I don't know, parents and infinitives. And infinitives can be used to talk about the reason why we use or do or do something. Okay, very good. Thank you. It says in English, both gerunds and infinitives can be used to talk about the reason why we use or do something. Ahorita vamos a ver el gerundio y el infinitivo para expresar usos o propósitos. Okay? El infinitivo y el gerundio se puede usar para muchas otras formas o para otras muchas razones o cosas, pero en este caso, this class is about the use My of dear infinitive. teacher. Yes. Allí yo me perdí en el... Cuando usted perdí? dice que no razón. es lo mismo gerundio que el... El, el presente continuo. El presente, continuo. Pro, ajá, presente continuo. Cuando en los dos usamos ing. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y entonces Pero, se me perdió. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? La diferencia, Elmer, es que el gerundio, bueno, uh -huh. el presente continuo se lo conjuga con el verbo be, ¿cierto? Cierto. Uh -huh. I am dancing, he is cooking, uh -huh. she is listening, ¿verdad? Sí, sí correcto. Es que el gerundio, ¿no? El gerundio no va... No necesito el to be. No necesita el to be porque el gerundio lo puedo uh -huh. ocupar como nombre como sustantivo. Entonces, por ejemplo, a ¿Un ver, ejemplo? Ahorita voy, permítame, ya sabía yo. Huh. <ríe> a ver, eh, she is swimming y le digo eh, swimming is good for um, body. Ajá, for, thank you for your body, all right? A ver, en la primera, Elmer, ¿puede ver, verdad, Elmer? Sí, claro. Ok, very good. En la primera dice, she's swimming. Tradúzcamela. Ella está nadando. Muy bien. ¿Y en la segunda? El nadar es bueno para ah, su cuerpo. ¿verdad? Wow, qué rico. <risa> nadar es bueno para su cuerpo, ¿verdad? Entonces, si se fija, usted mismo no le dio la misma... Traducción a swimming en la primera y swimming en la segunda. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Okay. Entonces, este sí. que está aquí, el mercito, uh -huh. este que está aquí está actuando como gerundio y el gerundio, bueno, no, no está actuando como gerundio, es un gerundio actuando como, como nombre. Uh -huh. Y como está al principio de su oración, es un sujeto. Sí, 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 tiene razón. Si se uh -huh. fija, swimming le, el, le sigue el verbo be, no se le antepone el verbo be. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Esa sí. es como la diferencia. A veces lo que tratamos de hacer, usted lo tradujo muy bien, el ver, pero hay gente que dice, nadando es bueno para su salud y no tiene sentido. ¿Cierto? Sí. Usted Cierto. dice, nadar es bueno para su salud o para su cuerpo, o el nadar es bueno para su cuerpo. No es el nadando. Uh -huh. y ahí, lo, ahí lo traducen mal porque como creen que es el ING y el ING es endo, ando, entonces lo traducen como, como presente. Con... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea que en español está mal traducido entonces. ¿El qué, Elmer? El, lo que pasa es que nosotros era un... Lo, lo, lo traducimos en español como la acción de estar haciendo algo. Uh -huh. De ese momento. So. All right. Ajá. I guess wrong. Mm -hmm. Y aquí no aplica eso realmente. No. Eh, okay. Si va de con hecho, el, mm -hmm. el ING, si va con esto, lo que usted está explicando, pues si va, si va como pronombre o si va como acompañando del verbo to be o, mm -hmm. o, o, o precedido del verbo to be. Right. Mm -hmm. Entonces, okay. sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es como la gran diferencia, Elmer. Elmer okay. y todo, ¿verdad? All right. so that's the de hecho, cuando los maestros tendemos a enseñarlo mal, con nombre, porque a veces decimos, el presente continuo gerundio, no es presente continuo gerundio, es el presente continuo nada más, porque gerundio es esto que estamos viendo ahorita. Okay. Decimos, she swimming nada más es presente continuo, presente progresivo, no es gerundio. 
All right, not in okay. English. All right. Not in English. Es diferente en inglés guess, que en español. I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> All right. But la idea es eh, que el gerundio sí tenemos que distinguirlo. A veces, y suele pasar, por ejemplo, cuando lo vemos al principio de la oración, es como que no nos, no nos da el sentido porque es así como no, 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 no comprendemos el significado en sí porque lo estamos traduciendo mal. ¿Verdad? Pero entonces al darse cuenta que hay una diferencia entre presente continuo y gerundio, entonces entendemos la diferencia. Ambos, okay. ambos son con ING, pero su, su uso es diferente. La posición en la oración es diferente. Mire, pues. Hasta Excellent. hoy sé eso. <laughs> very good. Ok. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. All right. ¿A todos los demás les quedó claro? ¿Les quedó claro, perdón? Yes. ¿Ya? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. ¿Sabían esa diferencia? ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Some of you did? ¿Normita, sabía esa diferencia? No, teacher. All But right. your explanation is clear. All right, very good. Alex, did you, mm -hmm. did you know that explanation before? ¿Alexito? Se me fue a Alexito. No, no, no. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hello. Hi. Hi. No, did did I, you understand? Yes, it's very clear. Thank you All very right. much. All right, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's continue here. A ver. Okay. So let's let's continue here. Okay, entonces decimos, in English, both gerunds and infinitives can be used to talk about the reason why we use or do something. Okay, a veces podemos usar gerundio, a veces podemos usar infinitivo. Excuse me, para dar el, la razón del uso o del propósito de algo, ¿ok? Y hay veces, en este, como en este caso en particular, no tiene significado para nada. Es igual, puedo usar o gerundio o puedo usar infinitive and it's ok. All right? Ok. So we have this right here. For example, we say, ah, no, eso no era. <laughs> It's this one. Ok, let's begin with an example. Con, con, el, mismo, con el mismo ejemplo, perdón. Teacher, con mm -hmm. el mismo ejemplo, el, el infinitivo sería to swim. That's right. It's good for It's you. good for, for your body. That's y estamos right. diciendo lo mismo. Exactamente lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. You are very welcome. Ok, so we have, let's begin with an example. This is a hair dryer. So que está aquí es a hair dryer, yes? Yes. yes. Ok, then we have, there are two ways you can talk about the purpose of the hair dryer. We have two sentences. Sentence number one, it says, a hair dryer is for drying hair. All right? Ahí estamos usando gerundio. Okay? A hair dryer is for drying yeah. hair. Sentence number two, I use a hair dryer to dry my hair. All right? So different, in, in the first one, you're using a gerund, and in the second one, you're using infinitive. El resultado es el mismo. El uso de la secadora de pelo es para secar el pelo. You can say for drying or to dry. Now, can you see the difference between the two sentences? What is the main difference about the two sentences that you see there? Uh, because I, I use two. In which sentence? In sentence number I, one or in sentence number two, Anita? Number two, That's I right. use I use uh, ING. ING. Y aparte de estar usando el ING, o sea, el gerund, ¿qué, qué preposición estoy usando? Two. And the number one. For. 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 For number one. Yeah, for number one is for. Quiere decir que cuando yo voy a usar el gerundio para expresar el uso o el propósito de X aparato, yo voy a usar, lo voy a acompañar el gerundio, lo voy a acompañar con for. Yo no puedo decir, y si ya vieron la plataforma, decíamos ahí, no puedo dar este ejemplo de decir, a hair dryer is to dry hair. No puedo combinar el tú con el gerundio. El tú siempre va de la mano con el infinitivo, no con gerundio. All right, y yo no puedo decir a hair dryer is eh, to dry my hair. El tú es infinitivo. infinitivo. Dry my hair. For drying my hair. Se oye raro si yo le digo hair dryer is to drying hair. It's not correct. 
And if I say I, I use a hair drying uh, for dry my hair. Y ese for dry lo usamos mucho más seguido que el otro porque en español nos decimos nosotros para decir para decimos for. Mm -hmm. Esa es nuestra traducción, all right? Pero es no. So you have to remember that every time you have a gerund, you have to make it together with four. Four, four plus gerund and two plus infinitive. Or the infinitive is actually two plus the verb, okay? Okay. okay. So far, so good, you understand? Yes. Si no, dígame. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see. Let's continue here. Gerunds, a ver, um, let me see who is I have here. Uh, Alex, can you read the orange square, please? A gerund is? A gerund is a verb that acts like a noun. To form a gerund, add ing to the end of the verb. Okay, thank you. Miren esto, a gerund is a verb that acts like a noun. El nombre, el sustantivo. Pero para, para crearlo necesito el ING. All right. Pero entonces ya no actúa como verbo, sino que como nombre. No hay acción ahí. All right. Next, next one, Roberto Aviles. Can you keep on reading the great square? Ok. To describe, Roberto? Uh, to, descri mm -hmm. to describe the purpose of something. Use four plus gerund. Excellent, very good. Jaime, can you read the yellow square? Uh, what is a hair dryer for? A uh, hair dryer is for drying hair. All right, very good. So what is a hair, that is the purpose. So ese es el uso de la secadora de pelo. What is a hair dryer for? A hair dryer is drying hair, all right? Jennifer Acosta, can you read the last uh, square? What is this program for? This computer program is for editing videos. Excellent. What is this program for? This computer program is for editing videos. All right. So if you notice, that's the use of the gerund. We, we need to use the ing for the verb plus four. So four and the gerund, four plus the gerund. That's the uh, formula for that. Questions? No questions? No? No question. Okay, very good. More examples. Let's see. Mm. Walter, can you... Walter, send it for Walter. Waltercito. Huh? Walter. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Um, Ramiro, sentence number one, please. Can you read it? My lips are for kissing. All right. The next one, Ramiro, please. Be quiet. A library is for studying, not for socializing. 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 So, socializing. Excellent, Ramiro, very good. Okay, so Social. thank you. So number one, my lips are for kissing. You have four plus the gerund, all right, the ing. Be quiet, a library is for studying. Four plus a study plus ing, not for socializing. And then you have again, four ing at the end of the verb socialize, okay? Preguntas, no questions, guys. No? Okay. Hoy andan así como, ah, no questions. All right, infinitives. Let's see. Um, Jaime, can you read them, please? What do you? What do you use a hair dryer for? Continue, uh huh. Okay. I use a hair dryer. To dry my hair. Very good. Yes, continue, Jaime, please. Okay. Why, why did you go to the store? Mm -hmm. Why did you go to the store? Uh, I went to the store to buy some milk. Okay, and the last one? Why are you going to Toronto? 
I'm going to Toronto to learn English. Ah, all right, very good. Now, Alex, la primera pregunta donde dice what hair dryer for, aquí usaron an infinitive, ¿cierto? Yes. I use a hair dryer to dry my hair. Change mm -hmm. that sentence to the gerund form. Okay, it could be uh, for the question. For the answer. For the answer, ah, okay. I, <coughs> I use a hair dryer for drying my hair. That's right, very good, thank you. Anadimas, number two. I went to the store to buy some milk. That's infinitive. Change that, change that answer to the gerund form, Anita. I, I go to the store. I went. I went to the store uh, buying some milk. For buying some milk. For buying some, For milk. Buying some milk. Very good. All right. Elmer, are you there? Yes, I am teacher. Okay, can you do the number three? I am going to Toronto to learn English. Can you use the gerund form? I I I going to Toronto for learning English. I am going to Toronto for learning English. All right, very good. Okay. Are you ready to do some exercises? Yes. Okay, oh, very good. All right. So let's do the exercises. Take a picture of this, please. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right, guys, did you take a picture? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to write two sentences. One in infinitive and one in gerund. Same for the iPod and the memory stick. All right? So the idea is, why do you use a video game for? Why do you use an iPod for? Why do you use a memory stick for? Or what do you, yeah, like why do you use it for? All right? And then you have to give me the use or the purpose in, in infinitive or, and not or, and in gerund form. So two sentences per picture. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Can yes. you please put the slide number six, please? Yes. This one? This one. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> okay. This Okay, ready? Right. Okay. So I'm gonna send you to your groups right now so you can work together. There you go, guys. Ahí. <coughs> okay. Yes, I may. Okay. Yes. I can see. We can see. The first one, Elizabeth, with uh, uh, infinity. Okay. 
Yo no tengo muy claro el infinitivo, pero... El infinitivo, voy, infinity. <risa> voy, voy, voy yo primero, voy. Voy a ir yo primero. Ok, okay. go ahead. Uh, the video game is good for to play, por ejemplo. Ah, what happened, Elmercito, espéreme. Hasta voy a poner el video que pasó, Elmer. <risa> Es que no me ha quedado bien claro todavía. Es, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo que es for to play? El Jeron ya sé que es el IND, pero. To play. Quiero ver cómo, cómo sería, teacher. Acuérdese y... que el tú es para infinitivo y el for es for Jeron. No puede mezclar for tú en una misma oración, me va a dar algo. Así es. <coughs> to video game. Is the video is game to is play. to play. That's right. Is to yeah. play. Yeah. Is to yeah. play. Ah, yeah. we make sentences. We use it. the video play. game is to play. That's right. Okay. The video game yeah. is for playing. That's right. Hoy sí, ya me puedo okay. ir en paz. Ah. <laughs> La misa ha terminado, me imagino. <laughs> <laughs> The iPod is for the for iPod. To... Yes. Okay, I use a video for playing Mario Kart. K R T. Yes. yes. En iPod. Tú, tú, tú. <laughs> <laughs> en iPod. Uh, I, iPod. I don't know because I don't have an iPod. <laughs> But what do you think people use it for? Uh, okay, I uh, see. listen, listen to music. Yeah, very good. I see, okay, I see people use people use the mic for. What did you use? To to listen to listen to listen music. To listen to music. To listen to music. To listen to music. To music. To music. That's to right. Listen to music. In the in the gym for listening. For listening, yes. For listening to music. To music. Okay. Okay, people use for for listening. Listening to music. Hey, memory stick. Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning? Memory stick. It's the um. Play. No, the la, la, la. For, for la cellular. The cellular. Uh -huh. Ah. La, la USB. La USB. Or, or USB. Memory, uh, oh, okay. USB. Ah. You can say key, memory stick. You can say flash, flash drive. Many flash. names. Many. Okay. <laughs> I use uh, for download, 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 yes, download, 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 and the, and the question, what, um, <laughs> why do people use a memory stick for, okay, well, <laughs> Why the people? A memory stick. Okay. Why the people use a memory stick? That's right. Okay. People use the memory stick. They use memory stick for, for download. Download. For downloading. Download. Down, download. For, uh, for downloading programs. That's right. For picture. For downloading. Y de ahí te de, dice de, 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 de memory, te use memory stick. 
is is no, correct two, many two programs or oh, a lot of programs you can say many programs or a lot of programs yes. doesn't matter please remember to, to download 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 uh -huh. download to download or for downloading what are you using infinitive or gerund yes in download. in both cases it's, it's the same the, the same meaning teacher this is the same meaning same it's meaning. the same meaning but remember that you have for the gerund you use four and for the infinitive you use two two okay that's okay Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, what is the, the correct pronunciation for download? Download? Downloading? Downloading or download? Down, yeah, to down. download or downloading. Download. Downloading or download? Yeah. If it's si yes, Gerundio, va a decir um, downloading. Downloading, yes. Download. Download. Yeah. Yeah. Es que como yo estoy eh, trabajando en el área de informática y, y siempre decimos mal. ¿Cómo dicen? Dan Loa. Dan Loa. Ah, de really? Dan Loa. Dale Dan Loa. Ah, ok. Sorry, it's not true. Dan Loa. Speaking in Spanish. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Uh, sometimes it's a, a difficult to think in English. I know it is. <laughs> I try to to do it. Oh, but you're doing very well. Yes. Thank you. No. Aha, Ramiro. What do you use a video game? I See, use why do you use to play Mario Kart? Or I use a video game for playing to for playing Mario Kart. Yes. And uh, why do you use the iPod? I use the iPod to listen to music. And I use the iPod for listening to music. Very good, nice. Yes, and why do people use a memory stick? The people use the memory stick to download programs, or the people use the memory stick for downloading programs. Very good, yes, mm -hmm. that's how it should be. We finished it. Okay, very good. Just give me a second. I'm gonna go see. Hi, girls, are you finished? No, no number three. Okay, but you're almost finishing. Okay. Yes. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. First is Herundio, Jaron. Hi, Norma. Hi, Norma. And hi, Walter. <laughs> hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Walter me dejó buscándolo. <laughs> he appeared. I know he appeared. <laughs> no. All right. Are you girls finished with Walter? No, no. I I started. Ah, okay. All right. My son. Okay, we're ready now. Are you guys Hi, finished? Teacher. Hi, you finished? Yeah, yeah yes. we have finished. Okay, very good. We're gonna go back to the main room right now because I wanna I want you to take pictures of other um okay. objects so you can work on the exercises, okay? Okay, okay. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, All right. Teacher. Like, I think almost uh, everybody was finished, right? Yes. yes. All right. So let's see. Um, the, um, 
Hold on, guys. Okay, so video games. Why do people use video games, Elmer? The video game is to lose the time. To lose time. All right. Okay. Yeah. With you. All right. Anybody else with the gerund? Losing. For, for losing time. All right. Or for wasting time. Okay. For, for funning. For having fun. For having fun. Fun. Or to have fun, uh, right? Okay, very okay. good. For what about, having fun. That's right, yes. What about iPods? Why do people use iPods for? For listening music. For listening to music. Listen, All right, yes. Music. All right, and the for other one? To listen to music. To listen to listen music. To listen. Very nice. What about memory stick? The memory stick is for saying information. For downloading programs, music, yes, for or downloading pictures. music, pictures, programs. Very good. I use my memory stick. Pornography. I am Mercito. All right, very good. Okay. So, remember that si usted va a usar gerundio, siempre va a usar cuál? For or to? For. For. And if you use infinitive? To. Excellent. All right, let's see. Tómame la foto a este, porfa. What? Come on. Take a picture of the... Finished? No, no. no. Okay. Yeah. This one? So fun. Finished? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Es igualito a los buses de aquí, ve. Es trans. This one? Teacher, please uh, come back to the uh, yes. Okay. Finish. Yes. Yeah. 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 The last one. Yeah. Igual, ¿verdad? Con infinitive or gerunds. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in this case would be why do people learn English? Why? All right, and then you can answer. All right, and then you can answer. Okay.
running. Is for Because it's for, it's for running. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the bus for running, Elmer? <laughs> Dice, Pregúntele eh, a la 140, teacher. A la 42. Yo uso la 42. The, The bus, bus is to run. All right. The bus is uh -huh. to run. Uh -huh. Running. Running. Uh -huh. Running. Uh -huh. Otro verbo, Elizabeth o Jaime. The bus is service. No, the bus is a service. Teacher. Yes. If uh, if we say uh, the people use buses for um, for going to work, is correct or? Sí. Ahí porque suena como que ocupado el verbo. Uh, people use buses to go to work sounds better than for going to work. Uh, But you can use both, I mean. Both, okay. Yes, because it's a different meaning. To save gas. Save gas. Ah. Yes. It's yes. cheap. <laughs> When the when the gas is the, the expensive, price, the price up. The price is up. up the price. <laughs> when the price is up. Uh, yes. What is this? ¿Qué es esto? <laughs> To the kill the, the, the neighbors. <laughs> Hi. You guys finished? Uh, no, only make two. Okay, that's okay. We continue. All right, nice. Teacher, I, I can put uh, in the case of the English class, uh -huh. the actual professional used to improve skill online English class. Say it again, Norma. The actual professional, professional used uh -huh. to improve skills online English class. Mm, it's a little bit confusing, Norma. The way you have worded, it's not clear. Mm. You can say for improving or to improve skills, it would be okay. To improve skills. Right. But I don't by, know. You can say by taking English online, by taking online English classes. Ajá, es que ahí sentía yo que le falta algo. Uh -huh, you can say that. I mean, yeah. professionals improve their, I mean, they learn English to improve skills by taking English, online English classes. By taking. Uh -huh. Online English classes. The professional used to improve skills by in taking online English classes. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Нет. Are you using speakers for listen? For no. listening. For listening. For listening. Therefore, it's the verb with ing. Ing. That's right. Yes. I'm listening. Music. My favorite music. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And the other one is uh, listening my favorite music. Mm -hmm. Or hi. Listening my favorite music. Uh, speaker. Listening my favorite music. Listening with, with to the, my favorite music. Listening my favorite music. Only listening that, to my favorite music, Anna. Listening to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listening to my favorite music. That's right. Yes. Okay. Teacher and the uh, I use the speakers when to dance for dancing. I use my speakers for dancing. Ah, okay. For dancing. Number five. What is the last one? Uh, I study English. Why do you study English for? For, for, for week. Oh, for 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 <laughs> for four days. <laughs> but why why do you study English? You have to have a reason why do you study it? Mm. For learning more. Okay, for mm. learning more or to learn more. Yeah. Okay. Or for learning. Yes. For learning. Learning other language. Okay. And the other one is do uh, a study. Every day. I study English. Every day. Uh -huh. Do I study English every day? Yes. In the night. <laughs> At night. <laughs> online. At, At night yeah. online, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Finish. You finish. Very good. Okay. We're going to go back. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Everybody was a, were you guys able to finish? Yes. Okay.
So the, what's important here, guys, is for you to understand the difference between the gerund and the infinitive. But in this case, you can use either or. You can use either infinitive or you can use gerund and it's okay. Okay? Now the difference is that you have to use for plus the gerund and you use to plus infinitive. Don't mix them up, okay? In okay. menos, ponga las dos en una sola oración for to listening. Mm -hmm. All right? Eso sí no se puede. All right? Or to for listening. Mm -hmm. Okay, es, es uno okay. o el otro, es four plus gerund or two plus infinitive. Okay. All right? Two, two infinitive. Right, mm -hmm. that's right. Four, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Paso ambos, okay. tanto el infinitivo como el gerundio, se están usando para que me den, para que me den la razón del por qué ocupo, por ejemplo, un teléfono. El uso o el propósito, ¿verdad? Esa es... Mm -hmm. Like the, the reason behind the infinitive and the gerunds. Obviamente, tanto el infinitivo como el gerundio tienen otros usos de por sí ellos para expresar otro tipo de cuestiones, pero esa lo vamos a ver en otro momento. Ahorita era usarlo en, en, para expresar el uso y el propósito de, y poder, poder utilizar el gerundio y el infinitivo. All right. All right. Okay, guys, so thank you very much. Tomorrow, remember, we have no class. I will no see class. you on Monday. It's day off. Monday. Yeah, it's a day off. Pero you have to work on the platform, okay? Don't forget. Yes. No. Guys, so I'll see you Monday. Have a very nice weekend, okay? Thank you. Thank Happy you. Weekend. The same for you. Thank same you so you. much. Okay. Bye, guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye, guys. Bye. See you Bye. next Monday. Yes, yeah, see you.